Okay, so drilling from the transfer into the intake side here. We built up a weld on the outside. Um, you can do it without building the weld up. It just allows you to put a bigger poison in there. And you can tell there's a thick part of the cylinder right in here. I like to, to keep the poisons within that thick casted chunk right there. So you can get an idea and get your angle. Right, we're going to start out with a nice sharp pilot bit, same one I used before. And make sure you put something underneath it. Right here, I'm just using a piece of cardboard. You notice it cutting in too far, then stop. You also you want to kind of angle it to where you're just right next to your um, liner there. You don't want to cut into the liner or go too far away from it to start with. So, I'm going to start. Um, Right about here, and I, as a rule of thumb, I end up lining this corner right in here, straight into that. It just it just seems to work for me. The, the geometry of it seems like it's pretty good. So, that's the way I do it. You guys fuck up your own however you want to. with a pretty small bit and just stack them up and then you can go from there and open them and that's just the first little tiny baby step and I like to go with one down below it and just work my way down until I get to a point where I'm no longer in this thick area now we went ahead and built these up and the blaster they're a little bit thicker uh, as far as the base um, but again we built that up we had one we blew through before You'll notice that the length from the transfer to where the intake runner is longer because you get a, a narrower transfer. It's not nearly as wide right here as it is in the blaster. So, I mean, that adds a little bit of complication to it as well. Anyway, that's a good start on it. We're probably going to shoot another one in here in a second. You can look at this. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of room to open that up now. Yeah, you can tell there. Uh, the blaster intake's just so much, it's wider, you know, and the width here gives you closer proximity to the middle of this transfer, versus the width here ends up right at the edge. So, I mean, that's where you're going to end up in the diff main difference. Um, another thing you can do once you got your bit in there, you can waller it up and down, try to elongate the hole. You want an elongated hole, that way you uh, stay close to the, the liner. And don't end up too far out. That's where you get your blow throughs when you come too far out. Which is why we built this one up. So, there's that. See if we can go about.
came out kind of high. She works just the same. And that is where we were blown through before. Crazy. He's coming up weird.